spiders, 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 spiders. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, oh, I think they come after I grab the head. Hello. The problem is because they added in all these context-specific animations. Um, sometimes they're very neat. Sometimes they just simply bug out, as you saw there. It took me a couple of goes to, to get a, onto that pole. There we go. Spiders. Lots of them. You can actually mash E to knock the spiders off you when they jump on you. I, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those features which they added, and I suppose, yeah, I guess. But at the same time, I'm not really sure why. There's a treasure to grab, I guess. You also, I wonder why they... Um, divided the pots into the worthwhile to smash pots and not worthwhile to smash pots simply because you would have thought it would be more interesting to make it either so that the pots were random because I mean it's just that you can smash the other pots but there's no incentive to do it and even someone who's not really been paying much attention would have realised fairly quickly it was over here yes it is um, I have to go up there ah right I think that might be it can I just climb straight up there? No, I can't jump back up there, can I? Okay. Hello. Grab onto the pole, please. There we go. Stole this move from the Prince of Persia. New Prince of Persia game coming out fairly soon, actually. Um, which I'm quite looking forward to. Because I, I, I didn't really like Prince of Persia 2008. Um, I really think they destroyed, utterly destroyed the combat system. Such that you ended up only ever executing... Um, one combo with four different initiators. The reason being that the, the combo system that, that you only have fought one enemy at a time, so it's purely a matter of defeating that individual enemy. Oh no 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 no! You're not going to play that game. Basically, there's a, a a system where she tries to work out where you're planning to get her to jump. So, for example, if I jump here, she'll align herself with the correct area. But sometimes it doesn't re recognize what's behind her, as you saw there. And uh, yeah. I'm lucky that she can fall quite long distances without dying onto hard stone surfaces. Well, as we saw earlier, that gift is not infinite. I'm gonna jump there again. I do. I do actually. I think the climbing was well was well implemented in this. It looks as though she's going from handhold to handhold. I, I know they've sort of spread the stones out to fit the points in the animation, but I think it was well done. Uh, certainly, in comparison with now. I see this. Ordinarily, she'd be jumping along the face, but because she can see that, she'll try to indicate what she's looking at, or what, what she's going to jump towards by looking at it. She'll jump to that. Now, that would be one of those moments where it, would, where it could have gone badly wrong, just throwing her off into space, just to show that I was foolish to trust in her. Oh, crap. There we go. Right. See, the reason I couldn't jump across there previously is you need to have uh, a leg hold in order to jump from there. There we go. And now we can go out. I wonder if... Is that the way out? Ah, it is. Cool. There we go. And there might be some more bad guys to come. Okay. Oh, crap. That's right, yes. The human enemies are not very well implemented in this. Um, there's not... I honestly don't... I mean, the basic problem is the pistols don't make them flinch enough to stop them shooting. Um, only the big weapons do, so you kind of save ammo for them. And you pretty much just pound bullets into them until they die. You can headshot them. But to be honest, if there's only one of them, it's not that much point. I, I do it because I enjoy it, but... <laughs> Oops, sorry, I got hiccups. Oh, where did I leave the bike? Did I bring the bike down here? My brain is fused. I can't remember. Oh, whatever, I'll go out. I got woken up extremely early this morning by uh, some unfortunately chirpy birds. So I'm not quite compost. Oh, there we go, here's the bike. You actually take the bike with you throughout this entire level. That looks pretty cool. Right. 
So that's where we're going to be uh, trying to end up if the camera would let me look down there. You can see half of it's already been revealed. I'll grab the treasures. I'll quickly grab the treasures down here because when you come back here it's, it's on a timer. In fact, this is the timer that I think I'm virtually always first time um, die trying to get back here because I don't know. I'm just not very good at motorbike in this game. There's something wrong about it. They've scattered treasures, I think, around the perimeter here. Uh, there's a contextual animations again. But you can see this. that size risen, that size hasn't. Oh, there's our treasures. Ah, oh, that's one. Everything, I think. I could be wrong, but who cares in the end? I don't think the treasure will get you anything. It's only the relics that are really worth picking up. Reverse. Ah, oh, yes, a jump. And that was a dingling, and I think I'm running out of hard disk space because these fast take up more space. So, there should be another. Actually, then next time there shall be genuinely another set coming relatively soon. And uh, good luck and thank you. Sorry, I haven't been uh, particularly chatty today, but I've been uh, fairly haven't played the game much recently, so I've been I've been happy to focus more on the game than I usually do. Good luck.